I became really interested in, in iDetect as a new method for extending the capabilities of what was available at that time. At the time that iDetect uh, came on the scene, you had polygraphs, which had been around for a long time. You have paper and pencil tests that have been around for a long time for personnel selection, honesty and integrity tests. But iDetect was a whole new approach which moved the detection of deception from using physiological measures that are dependent on emotion to using cognitive measures that are dependent upon reading and processing of information. It is a procedure that focuses on the eyes and it does two different types of measurements with a remote eye tracker that's basically invisible to the person taking the test while they look at this computer screen the eye tracker is measuring their pupil diameter and the position of their eyes while they read a simple statement and it measures that 60 times per second it gets very precise measurements and particularly precise measurements of pupil diameter we've known historically that the pupils enlarge when a person is engaging in cognitive activity that requires effort cognitive effort and the pupils get wider except in a situation like this the pupillary change is fractions of a millimeter very small changes that you could not observe by just looking at the person so those precise measurements allow eye detect to measure changes in the pupil that are related to whether or not the person is being truthful or deceptive and also the position of the eyes where they look in the sentence which words they focus on, how much time they spend looking at them. And all of these measurements are then incorporated in powerful algorithms that can make a decision as to whether or not the person is showing the signs of deception or non-deception when they answer true or false by pressing a key.